What is up, YouTube? All right, so what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to talk about this website here uh, called golfclashnotebook.io. Um, if you're a golf clash player and don't know about this, uh, it is a, a, an excellent, excellent resource uh, to improving your game. Um, we'll go through uh, each one of these um, options, menus uh, that you have up here um, for this website, um, how to use some of the resources uh, that I use and why I use them. Uh, some of them I don't, I haven't ever even clicked on. Um, so we'll find out some of these things uh, together today. Um, so yeah, let's get into it here. The this is the home page. Again, it's golfclashnotebook.io. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a little synopsis here on what it is. Um, and over here you have some streamers uh, that they feature. Um, these are some of the people that I watch. Uh, Tommy, RJ, uh, Zachary, Kevin. I don't think I've ever watched Cam or Chris, uh, Jesse. Um, I don't think I've ever watched Juan. Uh, I've watched Fun and James and Spencer. So, um, you know, this is just telling you if they're streaming or not. Uh, it looks like they have a link to to their uh, YouTube page. Uh, so if you want to go and check out any of their videos... Uh, you know, I encourage you to do so. Uh, they, a lot of these guys have put out, um, you know, just incredible information um, about the game, how to improve your game. Um, it's where I learned a lot of what I've learned in the last, honestly, in the last like month and a half to two months. Um, and it's improved my game tremendously, uh, tremendously. Um, I, we just finished the the festive cup tournament and uh my second account which is a rookie account uh playing in the rookie tournament it's only the third tournament that that account has played in um and i took second place uh, so and i give all the credit to um, mainly tommy uh rj and jesse uh, jesse and, and tommy they put out walkthroughs and guides and you know, they play the the uh, opening round and, um, you know, get great, great tips from, from them on that, um, on how to play the tournament. Uh, you know, what clubs to use, what balls to use, how much spin to use, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, things to watch out for, like, you know, your adjustment, it's going to be downhill, uphill, whatever, all that stuff. Uh, just... Just awesome, awesome uh, information that they put out for tournaments. So, uh, fittingly, the next uh, page is tournaments. So, you can come in here and you can see all the tournaments. Um, you know, they have a little, again, synopsis about what the... What the uh, tournament rules are uh, and then they talk about the different rounds that you play so you have a qualifying round that's uh, consists of the the nine holes uh, that you'll be playing uh, you have to finish in the top 20 or I, I'm, I'm sorry you have to finish in the top 10 of 20 so 50 percent make it to the opening round uh, in the opening round, you actually play 18 holes, but it's just the same nine holes from the qualifying round twice. You know, it's, so for a total of twice, you play each hole twice for a total of 18. Um, and in that one, you have 100 people and the top 50 make it. So again, the top half uh, make it. Um, if you make it into that top 50, um, you then make it to... Uh, the weekend round. The weekend round is 100 people. And you get a prize whether you finish in first place or 100th place. Um, obviously, first place gets a way better 
uh, <laughs> way better prizes than uh, 100th place. But, I mean, I've seen people that just don't even play, you know what I mean? And people that do play, uh, and, and they play like three holes, say, and end up three over. Well, because people that didn't play technically have a score of zero, zero is lower than plus three, so they get, you know, the 97th place or the 96th place prize without even playing because somebody went and screwed up their first three holes and then quit after that, um, and they end up getting 100th place. Um, so, um, you know, there's a it talks about bankroll, which is a, a big, big thing that uh, you need to pay attention to in, in this game is your bankroll. Uh, and, you know, making sure that you have, um, the money to play, you know, the regular tour games, but also having the coins to play, uh, tournaments. Um, it's not just an entry fee, uh, you know, depending on which, uh, tournament you select, um, rookie, pro, expert, and master, um, you know, each game cost you coins or could cost you coins if you don't win i think rookie's a thousand pro with, i think is three thousand expert might be ten thousand and uh, masters is a million uh, i'm not sure on that so don't don't hold me to what each individual they might even say in here uh, no they don't so that's the tournaments now the other thing you can do from this page is you can actually click on the tournament and you can check out the holes um, and, and see what they are. What they also do is they link to videos of Tommy. In this case, it's Tommy and Zach, Zachary. Um, and these videos are how to play the hole, whether you're playing in the rookie tournament, the pro and expert tournament. Um, you know, this has been, this has been, this is the third time that this course is being used in a in a tournament. So, um, you know, some of these are from last year's Christmas tournament. Some of these are from the New York tournament. Uh, some of them, uh, what Zachary does with like general instruction, is if you're playing on on the tour, or like in this case, he's got tour eleven play, uh, wind pointed at five thirty. So it's you know a, a headwind. With a little bit of left to right in it, um, you know. Here's your Christmas pro rookie expert. Um, here's your festive cup. Um, so these are, you know, these are the newest, latest ones. Um, so you know, these are again great, great resources. Uh, this usually they usually get this, you know, the tournament page up. Um, fairly quickly i want to say by the weekend before the tournament starts uh you know they release the tournament on i think thursdays so usually i think by saturday or sunday they have this page up with some um you know because i know tommy um he gets videos up about the um the tournament up fairly quickly usually by you know friday for rookie Saturday for pro and expert, and I think Saturday for master. So, um, and you can go back and, you know, let's say, uh, you know, we know that um, they, they released the, the, the tournament on Thursday, right? And we, they also release a, um, you know, screenshot of what holes are going to be playing, being played. So let's say we know three of the holes are going to be Eagle Peak, right? Eagle Peak was the fall major. So you can come in here, you can find those holes, right? Let's say they're going to play this par three as, as hole number one, in, or this par five, I guess it is, in uh, hole three, par five. They're going to play this hole as hole number one in the upcoming tournament. And you've never played this hole, you don't know anything about it. Well, there it is. And there is your rookie, and pro and expert guide or with Zachary again you got he puts out a bunch of different um, videos for you know different ways that masters play because masters is a whole nother beast I guess 
Um, and then he even has the tour play, right? So, again, great resource for, to for tournament play. Um, you yeah, know, you can go through, you can see what holes. Now, you know, not all of these are one single course. Like, if you look at Club Oceana, you have, uh, and I don't think they actually tell you what courses these are, but, um, you know, this one is... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Glen Monarch, maybe. Um, you know, here you have, uh, man, I should know these. Gokasho Bay, I think, that one. Yeah, I think those are Gokasho Bay. Um, and then you have, um, I think it is actually Oceana are these ones here, these two. Um, so, you know, you can go in. The other, I forgot about this, if you go, um, you know, into your tournament, once this is released, uh, you can get a notes sheet. You can print this out, and then when you're watching, you know, Tommy's walkthrough, or, or Jesse, there you got Jesse, Jesse's playthroughs and walkthroughs, you can take the notes that you need to take. You know, wind direction, how much spin to use, what club to use, um, you know, where, where you want to, you know, set up your, your shot and, and all that stuff. So these note sheets are, are huge for, for tournament play. Um, and I'm really getting deep into tournaments, but, um, you know, maybe that's a, a, whole, a whole nother video that I should be doing. Um, so let's move on. We got tours next. Uh, this is this is huge when you first move into a tour um, because you can click on whatever tour. Let's just say you are you just moved into tour five, right? Well, there's all your need to knows um, that before you get into the tour, you know, what's the T position, what's the wind, uh, needle speed, uh, you know, the opponent's spin is visible. Uh, what you win for your clan, the entry fee, how many trophies, trophy wins, trophy losses, uh, minimum games, um, and three stake special. Uh, the three stake special. So if you lose, you get you can pay two hundred gems to get uh, three times the entry fee. Uh, where this is really, really helpful is if you're sitting there playing right and what comes up oh uh your first hole that you're going to play is uh hole number seven on green Oak point well you click on green Oak point and you go to hole seven and if you're playing from the front tees which is rookie boom there you go it tells you how to play the hole it has the ball pass that you want to take tells you how to play it um, and you can come in here and watch videos before you get started um, even have text guides which is basically the same thing as um, what is right here on this page if you get this course on pro and expert a lot of times these don't change much um, you know in tour play it's it's played pretty much the same why it's different in uh, uh, a tournament is because you know what wind you're gonna have uh, in tour play you don't know what wind you're gonna have so these these just this just gives you the best way to play it what does change is what clubs you're using so in rookie you know you're gonna use um, you know a, a, a viper or a sniper for your second shot. Uh, in pro, you're going to use, pro and expert, you're going to use a sniper or a guardian for your second shot. Masters, same thing. You got your uh, sniper or your guardian for your second shot. Um, so this is this is huge. When you first get into a, a, into a tour and you don't know the holes and you don't know how to play them, uh, instead of losing every match until you learn them, um, this is huge. Uh, the other place that it's huge is it's, it's you got to be quick on this, but okay, 
here we go. You tie. Now you're in a tiebreaker. Okay, so this is go Kosho Bay. It's hole three. Okay, how do I play this? And really all you got to do is look at look at, at, at uh, the ball paths. Um, or you can kind of study up on this stuff prior to starting the tour. Definitely study up on the par threes and how to play them because that's where you win and lose matches. Uh, everybody can play, you know, the, the par fours and the par threes. You can make a mistake and get away with it and still come back and, and catch a, you know, a birdie. Um, but you come back and you actually win on par threes, especially in the higher tours, uh, shootouts. I'd say probably once you get to like tour five, tour six, um, you know, the shootouts become very important. Uh, I'm only as far as tour seven and eight. Um, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be careful with moving up. It, just because a tour is open doesn't mean you should move up. I moved up to eight and my clubs are not ready for, for eight. Um, and I lost half my bankroll, um, and had to go back to tour seven. Um, you know, learning experience. Um, but the way I managed my bankroll, it really didn't hurt me. Uh, I went from eight million to four million uh, because I I keep my bankroll at twenty times the buy-in. So on tour seven, instead of two million, I want four million. You know, at tour eight, instead of six million, I want one point two. I kind of jumped the gun and I went to to uh, tour eight with six million. Uh, when you, it seems like when you first go to a tour, you you win because I went from six million to eight million, and then I just started getting smacked, and I went from eight million down to four. Um, so I was two million below the ten times that a lot of people say you should keep as your um, bankroll, uh, you know, 10 times the, the buy-in. So I went back to 4 million. I said, all right, I'll just go back to tour seven until I can get my clubs upgraded. Um, you know, so great resource here for, for tour play. Um, and then you have the, basically the same thing to courses. So if you just want to go in and check out, you know, individual courses rather than, uh, going through, um, you know, the tours. And again, it's the same thing. You click on a hole and you have videos that you can go and watch. Um, you know, some of them don't show ball guides. Um, uh, some of them do. Uh, City Park doesn't show them either. Uh, Glen Monarch, I believe, does. Yeah. So see that shows you, you know, ball pass and, and everything. So, uh, you know, you can get into that. Um so that's courses, uh, clubs. If you're just wondering about your clubs, you know, what, uh, you know, when does the extra mile max out on distance? Oh, at eight, you know, what's the maximum ball guideline ball guide going to be, you know, 3.6. Um, you know, you can kind of come in here and take a look at all your different clubs and, um, you know, what the power is, the accuracy, all the stats for the clubs gives you a pretty good, uh, you know, synopsis about how to, how you're going to use this, you know, the extra mile is the most, you know, driver that most people use until they, uh, unlock and level up Thor's hammer or the apocalypse. And then it gets replaced by those two, but it's, you know what I mean? It, uh, different situations call for different clubs. Um, and then it has a wind chart. So it'll tell you, you know, at level one, um, at max, you're going to move the wind chart, the, the, your, I guess it's 3.3 .3 rings per mile, uh, mile per hour. I think that's how that works. Let's see. I know like the quarterback has a hundred percent accuracy. Where's the accuracy at, at level six? So. For every mile per hour, you move the rings 1.2 rings. Um, and again, that's if you're not familiar with wind charts and, uh, 
you know, the wind rings. Uh, there are great videos out there about, um, you know, the wind, the wind rings. Uh, it's probably something that I'm going to make a video about uh, at a later date. Um, but next is balls. So, you know, you're looking for information about balls. Say you don't have some of these you don't have access to see what the information is you know is it a wind ball does it cut down wind resistance does it have you know major spin or does it have power um you know so like this is the jewel ball it's a wind resistance four it doesn't have side any side spin and it's a power four so this would be something that you would use to cut down wind and go further you know what i mean um, you know, here's the snow globe. Uh, the snow globe doesn't take, it doesn't have any wind reduction, has a power three side spin, and it's a power five ball. So this is something you use like with a tailwind, and you're trying to drive the green with on a par five. You know what I mean? You have that tailwind, so you don't want to reduce the, the, the wind because you're trying to go as far as you can, and then the power five, you know, adds that extra oomph to get you you know a drive to the green uh you know this is like masters type play uh i would say a lot and a lot of people a lot of uh you know the kind of experts say you don't really need to use these specialty balls until you get into expert level expert and master level you can get away with you know quasars navigators titans katanas um in, in tournament play, on tour play, up through like, you know, tour 10, from what I understand, you can get away with quasars and navigators um, as, as the most. Um, so as you get down through here, you know, here's all the different balls, kind of tells you where they came from, you know, the dead ball, which I think everybody says is this, arguably the, the best ball in the game, best general purpose ball in the game. Um, you know, here's where it came from. A lot of these specialty balls you buy now, you don't win um, in tournaments. You have to buy them with real money out of your pocket. Um, but, you know, power, uh, wind resistance three, spin two, and power four. You know, a general purpose, uh, you know, ball. Here's the autumn ball that just came out for uh, Thanksgiving of 2018. It was the fall major ball. So it goes through and it talks about all the balls. And it has, you know, um, the common balls, I guess you would call them, uh, which would be like the Titan. So here's your Titan. Um, it tells you your OP, overpower, needle speed. So it'll reduce the, the needle speed. I'm not sure exactly how that works. If with a basic ball, your overpower... Let's see is 1.43 so with a titan ball um it reduces that needle speed down to 1.2 um you know uh with a uh, let's see if i can find one here so the kingmaker which is like the top um you know non-bot ball other than the berserker but uh so your overpower needle speed drops to uh 1.15 so it slows down so it's not as fast um the berserker ball um it's right here so it drops it the needle speed doesn't really drop um the thing about the berserker is the power five um so um and yeah so best for tailwind because it's only a, a wind resistance one ball so uh you know you can come in here and you can see what all the different balls are some of them are just reskinned balls um so like if you look at uh the pumpkin ball right the pumpkin ball is three three and three and if and it's a but it does reduce it, 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 the the difference here it's basically a reskinned kingmaker the difference is 1.2 needle speed compared to 1.15 but it's the same as a kingmaker 
um, as far as uh, stats go. Uh, just a reskinned Kingmaker. Uh, which they do, you know, here's the rival, rival ball. It's a reskinned, reskinned Kingmaker. Uh, so, you know, here's a striker. Again, a reskinned Kingmaker. It's the needle speed that that's different, um, you know. So, that's the balls. Uh, chests, I've never really clicked on, but uh, it's okay. So, it just tells you in a wooden chest you get these cards on this tour. Hmm, Tour 13, I didn't, unless they're getting ready to come out with Tour 13. Uh, right now it only goes up to Tour 12, uh, the divisions. So, um, what this is telling you is in your weekly, in your weekly um, bracket, uh, Tour Play, if you win first in Expert 3, you get a Tour 7 chest, Platinum chest, or King chest, I guess it is. Uh, if you finish in second, you get a Tour 10 Platinum chest. Third gets a Tour 10 Gold chest, and fourth through tenth gets a uh, Tour 10 Silver chest. Below tenth, you don't get anything. And I, th I would imagine that... Um, you know, some some of these, yeah, like that. F usually, five places below tenth promote. So the bottom five, so eleven through fifteen, would promote but don't get a chest. Uh, like in this case, sixteen through twenty promote but don't get a chest. So and it's just telling you, you know, about the the divisions. This here is. A huge huge part of the game um, adjusting for wind you have a 10 mile an hour right to left wind um, if you leave your ball guide your target exactly where you want to land and you have this 10 mile an hour right to left wind you're actually gonna land left of where your target is so you need to know how far to the right do I need to move my target so that the wind blows my ball back to where I actually want to land. Um, so here's, you know, again, great, great resources for um, learning the, the, the uh, ring system, the wind, wind ring system. Um, you know, this is how I learned about it, uh, watching Tommy and Zachary and... Uh, it's RJTV, and just watching as many videos on it as I could until I got it. Um, and I'm probably going to do a video on this too, because um, there's a little bit of lacking information, but it's still great, great, great information. Um, so you take this information, right, on your ring method, and you come to tools, and this is where you put it to um, put it to to work. Uh, this is where you get your information. Um, and this is, you know, a whole nother video. Um, I've never really used a club ranker. I've never uh, used this overpower simulator. I've never used the whole ranker. Mainly use this for the wind chart creator. So once you learn the ring method, and you come in here and you say you're using an extra mile and it's a level three and you add it and then you create a chart. You can do it wind per ring or you can do it rings per wind. Um, and again, this is a whole nother video that I will get into, but this tells you, you know, you have this much wind and you're in the maximum distance range of your club. This is how much you need to move your rings in order for it to land where you want it to land. Um, one, the variant here, one tells you how many rings per mile, mile per hour. So um, you have to do some math in your head, right? 
um, say you have a seven mile an hour wind and it's telling you, you need to move your rings, uh, you know, two rings per mile per hour, if that's even how that works. I'm trying to think. It's been a while since I've used these, um, use the, the, the ring one. I would rather use uh, the rings per wind. Um, we'll show you real quick. So we'll just create this. Um, so extra mile three tells you that. So you're in the max distance of your club. So 3.1... One ring per every 3.1 mile per hour, right? So you have a seven mile per hour wind. So two rings is going to be 6.2. So then you got to go, okay, well, then what's seven? Uh, seven's going to be another half a ring, ring and a half. So instead of 6.2, now you got to go uh, 6.7 or so. You know what I mean? So you got to do math in your head with, 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 this, with, with this chart. Um, if you go with uh, the rings per wind chart, right, and you have a seven mile per hour wind, you come down here and you say, okay, I'm in my in the max of, of my club, so we're going 2.2. 2. So I uh, see, I I'm pretty good with math, and that other chart is a little confusing. Um, this. All you have to do is find it. If you have 6.9, you know, okay, it's still going to be 2.2. It doesn't show up on the chart, but if you look up and down from where it's supposed to be and they're the same, 2.2, you just use 2.2. Uh, if you have 3 mile, 3.2 mile per hour wind, okay, so going back to that other chart, it's telling you, Huh, what is that? I guess it would be how many rings to move per mile per hour. So yeah, one mile per hour you move at 3.2. So two rings would be 6.2. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. So that's that's the wind chart, and that's what this tool is used for. And it's, it's an amazing, amazing uh, tool that will immensely, immensely help your game. Um, the last thing we're going to do is this power slice. Um, if you don't know what the power slice is, uh, again, there are videos out there. Um, I it's, it's kind of an advanced technique, um, mainly used uh, at the expert and master level. Uh, it can work at pro level. Um, because they do have this chart going all the way down to a level one type club. Um, but it's basically telling you how far you need to move your rings to the right or to the left, whether you're going to power slice or power hook. Um, you know, they call it power slice, but it's power hook, power slice, hook to the left, slice to the right. Um, but it tells you, you know, um, and, and, and even here, you know, like I said, it, watch watch some videos about power slice and power hook if you haven't already. Uh, you can do it with woods. Um, it's not as, it, you know, so here's your wood. This is your level. This is your name. So like a big dog, level one through six. If you want to do a power hook, power slice, you would move your rings 14 in whichever direction for the hook or the slice. Um, so they have it for all of these. Um, I would say that you wouldn't use it for any other clubs other than maybe your drivers and your woods. Um, maybe a long iron here and there, but uh, I wouldn't think that you would need to use it for short irons, rough irons, and sand wedges. Um, so you can come in here and get your long irons if, if you know, you have a situation where you need to do a power slice. Uh, the only situations I can think of is you're behind a tree, you know, something. There's an obstacle in your way, um, and you just need to get it, you know, back into play as far as you possibly can um, to try and save your, you know, save the hole. 
Um, but again, I would go and watch uh, some videos on this. I don't have uh, as much experience with the power hook slice uh, shot as these guys. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I've only been playing this game for about five and a half, six months and have only in like the last month and a half to two months have I, you know, really gotten into, um, you know, trying to do my best to improve my game, finding these resources, Golf Clash Notebook, watching videos by, you know, guys that have been playing this game for, you know, since it came out basically for over a year, year and a half. Um, you know, so this Golf Clash Notebook I actually have favorited, you can see right there, Golf Clash Notebook. Um, I, it's immensely, immensely helpful, um, especially at the, at the beginning of your playing career on this game. Um, I might not use it quite as much now as I did, say, even just a couple of weeks ago, uh, just because uh, I'm not updating clubs as much because my clubs are kind of you know getting to the point where it takes quite a f quite quite some time to to level them up so i don't need to come in here to the to generate a, a new wind chart you know every few days because i've upgraded a club um i'm playing tours now that i know the courses you know um the only time that, that that I've really been using this lately is for the tournaments to get the uh, the note sheet um, to get the walkthroughs. Um, so you know that is golfclashnotebook.io. Great, great resource. Absolutely wonderful resource. Um, let me see this. So I'm gonna thank all of these guys here. Um, for doing content, getting this content out there for f for all us noobs and uh, you know people that just want to improve their game. Um, I'm not sure who actually runs this website. I want to say his name's like Ian or something like that. But I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, thank whoever it is that puts this, this website together and, and keeps it running and up to date. It is, it is a wonderful, wonderful resource. Um, and I encourage anyone who wants to improve their game um, to check this website out. Um, you know. I think, yeah. So, um, support them however you can. Um, like I said, we want to keep this, keep this, uh, this website out there um, for anyone looking to improve their game. So, yeah, support them in any way that you can. Um, all right, I think we're going to call this video done. Um, I appreciate you checking it out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, click that bell right next to it so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos or go live with uh, maybe tour play, but definitely tournaments I'll be streaming. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the content, uh, like the content, uh, you know, be really helpful if you hit the thumbs up for me. And uh, yeah, again, thanks for checking out the video.